Do you want your FPS to go from this to this? Then go ahead and watch this video. I'm gonna go through all the settings that I'm currently using on Ark Survival Ascended so that you can get your maximum FPS while the game still looks good. This works both on console and on PC. So if you're watching this at the console release, don't worry, it's not any weird INI settings. It's all in-game settings. Okay, boys, so here we are in the main setting screen for Ark Survival Ascended. I'm gonna go through everything that I'm currently changing so that I can get the best performance with the best, you know, visuals uh, for the game. So this is all gonna be done in the game. It's none of it's gonna be I and I stuff. The very first thing, and this is gonna sound super counterintuitive if you're a PC player and have played for a long time, you've gotta to go to full screen. For some reason, it helps. Um, second, your resolution scale needs to be at 100%. Now, to achieve this, you can do a couple of different things. The easiest way that I found is just going to Epic, saving your settings, and then you just go and change stuff after the fact. Um, advanced graphics, uh, you can change this to whatever. Personally, with my setup, I can go to Medium. Anti-aliasing uh, is also on Epic. That's fine. Uh, view distance, we all know view distance low is the best, so go ahead and switch that to low textures that's really up to your preference i'm gonna go with high because i want my game to actually look good post-processing we're gonna go medium because when you go to low it gets a little bit weird general shadows low uh global illumination quality low effects quality we're gonna go medium and then foliage quality we're gonna go low we're gonna do that then we're gonna go over here and make sure motion blur is off max frame rate whatever your monitor is so for me that's 75 i'm gonna go ahead and save that Light bloom off, life shafts off, low light enhancement. Personally, I didn't see any improvement with that, so I turn it off. This is a big resource eater. Enable foliage and fluid interaction. Turn that off. While you do that, go ahead and just turn these sliders all the way down. So that way, anything that is happening won't be happening as much. Foliage interaction quality gone. And then turn footsteps and footstep decals off. Then go over here to camera. This is a big part of the settings. Um, if you don't want to have third person interpolation, for some reason you have to turn both of these off to have the option to turn that off. So I don't know why, but that's how you unlock this. Um, FOV, unfortunately we can only go to 100 right now. Uh, maybe there'll be a way that we can change that in the future. Camera shake scale all the way down because who wants camera shake scale? Um, third person camera offset personally I like it if you don't like it don't use it camera view bob we're gonna go ahead and turn that off first person writing off and there we go so that's all good to go now we're gonna go to advanced really quick and we're going to turn stop explore no audio we're going to disable menu music we're going to get rid of this underwater bubble particle multiplier. Blood visuals is fine. Uh, give default survivor items. That's really up to your preference. I personally don't want to. And then we're good to go there. Now, as far as keyboard stuff, um, this is, if you guys just, you know, want to see what I do, um, show inventory. I like to switch that to tab. And then where is toggle console it's on tilde now this is actually kind of weird because it used to be on tab and i would change it to tilde but it's just on tilde now so um the rest of this stuff i'm not super concerned about let me just make sure there's nothing that i think i should change and yeah there we go now the big thing is you have all this stuff done and if you guys notice my fps isn't really that great still it looks better you know it's more consistent but it is still pretty low. I don't know if you guys can see the counter in the top. It's only like 20, 30 FPS. Um, actually, I can do stat FPS. Uh, or is it stat space FPS? So that you guys can see on the right-hand side my FPS. Now, here's the big one. Here's the big kahuna. Why does my character look like that? My character is made of blocks. Um, let me see what that is really quick. Uh, view distance, maybe? Yeah, okay, so maybe we don't go to low on ASA, <laughs> but uh, as you guys can see, the FPS still isn't that great. All right, so this is the big, big one that one of my tribe mates found. So if you go to volumetric cloud, R dot volumetric cloud, space zero. If you look at the sky, it gets rid of all the clouds up there, 
and it boosts your FPS by a lot. Now, obviously my settings, I still have, you know, a little bit of foliage and like shadows and stuff. So it's not the highest that it could be. If you really want to push this as high as possible, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to video and you're going to go ahead and turn this to medium. You're going to turn textures to medium and that should actually give me a pretty good boost right there. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I can hit capped FPS if I'm not looking towards like the trees and stuff. But I mean, the game is still pretty uh, unoptimized and whatnot. So you got to kind of deal with that a little bit. Actually, if you turn DLSS back on, um, I don't know what it does, honestly, but my FPS do be kind of high, though. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, this is the after image here. I'm going to get a little bit of... Oh, wow, did you see that? I swung with my... Whoa! You swing with different hands, depending on where you are now. Um, but this is the after. Uh, it looks so much nicer. My FPS is so much more smooth. And... Even though it's not capped, it's not up to 75. I don't have a crazy PC. I've got a 3060, like I said. So this isn't like, you know, what you would expect to get out of like a 3080 or like a 4090 or something crazy like that. But for my purposes, this will be plenty good enough for me to get in there, do some PVP and get some videos. So anyways, let's go ahead and go over the settings one more time so that you guys can see what this looks like. So we have audio that's, you know, whatever you want to do with it, okay? You go to the video settings, whatever your native screen resolution is, make sure you're in full screen. You have your graphics set to custom. You have your re resolution scale set to 100. You have advanced graphics on medium, anti-aliasing on medium, view distance medium. If you do anything lower than medium with view distance, you get some weird texture issues like you saw my character was literally starting to de-render before our very eyes. Textures, you can go to you can go to low, it doesn't really matter, but personally, I like it on medium. It makes it look a little cleaner. You see, if you look at the top of my like flak chest or the bottom of my helmet, there's a little bit of artifacting going on. It doesn't happen if you have it on medium. So that's just my preference to make the game look nice. Post-processing, you can turn that down to medium. General shadows and global illumination, turn that down as low as possible. It will look a lot worse, obviously, without all the beautiful lumen, you know, stuff. But you're trying to get performance out of a game that's not super optimized yet. So you got to take a little bit of hits here and there. Um, foliage quality, low, obviously. Effects quality, I can go down to medium. You can go down to low if you want. Um, set your max frame rate to whatever your key, to whatever your monitor is. Set your max frame rate to whatever your monitor is. Turn motion blur off. Turn light bloom, light shafts off. Low light enhancement, go ahead and turn that off. As well as the foliage and fluid interaction. Distance multiplier, all this stuff as low as possible. And turn all of this stuff down. The GUI 3D widget quality, I don't really know what this is for i would assume it's something to do with like when you ping the map so maybe that'll affect but i really doubt it i have nvidia dlss on obviously um and actually i can probably turn this to super performance and even get a little bit of a boost there yeah if you look my fps jumped about 10 when i did that so when i'm in game now it's even better but if i want it to actually look a little bit better you can turn it to balanced and that'll give you like you know the best performance and the best visuals um then for all of this stuff um it doesn't really affect anything so you don't really need to change this uh melee character melee camera animation go ahead and turn that off that's that's one that i do need to tell some of my friends about because that is kind of ugly disable menu transitions we're going to turn that off as well and that is pretty much it guys you go to your camera settings make sure you have interpolation disabled have your player camera and your dyno camera off so that you can do that third person camera offset on or off depends on what you like and then camera view bob off first person uh riding turn that off and make sure camera shake scale at zero this will give you this desired effect here this is running on a rtx 3060 eagle with 32 gigabytes of very budget ram uh, i think it's clocked at about 3200 and a 3900x which is a ryzen card 
that is actually made for workstations more than gaming. So hopefully you guys got some use out of this. Um, if I find anything else in the future, I will let you guys know. And I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.